Hello to another video tutorial in this series. So in this one we are going to tackle the map helper. So the map helper is probably the most widely used one. And as always um, let's start with a classical JS um, non-ES6 code example and then we'll switch to um, using the helper itself. So again in this file I'm going to make a comment about classical JS example over here and let's say that we have an array of numbers so I'm going to create an array of numbers called numbers and I'm going to have numbers like 5, 10, 15, 20 um, and 25 okay now our task right now is to double these numbers so we want to change this array to have all of these numbers but their doubled version so um, what we could do is we could again rely on our trusted for loop and go for var i equals zero as long as i is less than numbers dot length we want to inc increment the i then inside here we want to take these numbers array and we want at i position to simply change it to be the this particular number um, doubled like this. Now, if I console dot log um, our numbers array, let's see what's inside. So, okay, I'm going to again use node for this. So I'll type node and then the file name and we should see the, the version that we wanted to see. Now in large and complex JavaScript applications um, you want to avoid mutating or changing the data whenever that's possible. Um, reason being um, it could lead to a lot of bugs. The reason is um, say if you have this uh, numbers array over here and then you have like multiple modules and then you access this numbers array some way down later in the code um, you might for forgot that you basically mutated um, this numbers array over here and that could lead to bugs um, in scenarios where all of a sudden you don't, n you don't get why you're not um, accessing this data but instead the double version so for that it is always best to whenever you need to change an array to create a new version of it so I'm going to create a new variable over here um, say called change numbers for example like this but that needs to be an array and then uh, then we want to change this line of code over here instead of that um, we want to do a following we want to push basically um, a new item to this empty array and we want to push the value of the current number um, and then um, double version of that. Now let's um, output both the original array and the changed numbers one. Okay, and let's try it. And as you can see now, we still have access to our original array, but we also have access to our newly modified one. Okay, so now let's switch back to um, using the map for this example and see how we can do the, the same thing. I'm going to comment out all of this. Okay, and let's let's um, write here the, the the same code using the the map helper. So I'm going to borrow this code, but I'm going to change this to const and now. I need to, to use the map, so again I'm going to use that variable that is actually an array and we can call the map function on it. Um, really similarly to the other helpers that we've seen so far, it takes an anonymous function here. So let's type function. Um, that anonymous function will again provide us in each iteration with the current element. So again, the, the good naming convention here would be a um, singular form of your array name. So I would call this one number. 
and then um, similarly to how the, the find worked um, we need to return inside of this function and what we want to, re to return is basically the modified value so as we said previously we want to double this value so let's return just that so let's return a number times 2 now this whole thing will actually return a new array for us this time and we need to store it somewhere so let's use the same naming convention as above and call this variable unchanged numbers like this and let's pretty much copy and paste this because that will be the same and let's test it out so as you can see we are still getting the same um, thing this time just using the, the dot map um, helper function so again um, like like previously we can turn this into a fat arrow function and then we can also get rid of this because we only have one argument or parameter and then again because this is a single return statement we can um, do the same trick like we did previously we can get rid of all of this and that and now um, this should still work the same and as you can see it does so um, that's pretty much it um, there is not a whole lot going on here the important detail is that the map helper um, again iterates through an array of elements to fetches every element and then pass that element to the variable that you provide here and then whatever you do to this um, element it will get um, stuffed back into a new array that will be uh, returned from this whole thing and saved whatever you assigned it to. Now really um, interesting and um, something that you will end up doing uh, pretty often is another example that I'm going to share with you. So let's uh, for a moment um, say that we have like an array of flight data. Let's say that we have like an array of objects where each object represents an airline company with the ticket price for example so we could have something like um, airline data say that will be an array this array will contain uh, several objects and each object will have something like carrier um, price yeah we can leave it at that so but yeah let's say um, destination it will make more sense so okay so let's say I'm um, carrier could be something like Norwegian um, destination could be Paris and price could be um, let's say uh, we don't need string for this let's say um, 150 next let's have um, similar similar object down here but let's say this time carrier is um, Ryanair destination is the same so say we're only looking up the prices for the Paris but the price this time is only 75 um, let's say we have yet another one um, this time we have EasyJet uh, Paris um, price is let's say 100 and let's say we have another one and this one is um, Wizzair and the price is like 60 okay now let's pretend that your um, task right now is to use this in array of objects and you want to produce a single array that only contains the prices so what you want to get um, is pretty much an array that has um, the prices listed like this so this is our end goal uh, let's also comment out this okay and let's get started on it so how can we do that well let's start with a map um, helper hope that's not a surprise since we're talking about it in this video so we're going to go airline data dot map again we'll have a function 
anonymous function or iterator function and then this function is going to get provided with, with each object in every iteration so let's name it um, what could be a good name let's simply name it data okay now um, we want to return um, on the price so we can say data and remember the data is this entire object um, and we want only the price property so we can return data dot price like this and we can save that into a new array called um, price prices would be a, a better name and then of course I'm a big fan of this <laughs> and let's so let's remove this um, like that and now um, let's simply console.log prices are and then the prices and if I come here and I run this file you see that we get an array of prices that are pretty much how we wanted them so um, this is it for this video I hope it's clear how um, using map can also save you quite a bit of keystrokes and it also makes code more nicer to look at also this is a pretty common example and you can also see how um, how quickly you can you can like pluck all the particular properties that you want from this array of objects over here so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and as always I'll see you in the next one